So no, Robin Hitchcock. So you've um, you've got this history. He's, he's one of your favourite singers. Yeah, he is my favourite. But I mean, it, for a long time, every single time that I met him, it was a disaster. I embarrassed myself in front of him. It was just well. The first time was wasn't it the jazz cafe where you jazz danced cafe, like a I, dick? I treated yeah. his solo acoustic <laughs> acoustic acoustic. Actually, should have been it. It was an acoustic show like I was going to see Metallica. It was just embarrassing. I was on stage, stage diving, just, I was absolutely off my face. It was embarrassing. Anyway, but I apologised, I apologised. So the next time that I saw him, I apologised. Uh, and it was at the 12 Bar Club. You know how tiny the 12 Bar yeah. Club is. And you know, it's got that lovely little balcony. And, and he goes, well, like, I apologise. say the 12 Bar Club, the lovely thing about the 12 Bar Club is you have a choice. You can either watch the act from the nipples downward, <laughs> yeah. or if you go upstairs to the <laughs> upper tier, you can watch their head and shoulders. Yeah. There is nowhere where you can see the complete person. Well, I, I fancied seeing Club. him uh, from the nipples upwards. So I just went, <laughs> I, uh, he, he said to me, he said, um, no, you know, all right, apology accepted, but don't do it again. I was like, <laughs> never going to happen in a million years believe me never I went, I'm not even drinking tonight I'm really here I, I just want to watch it blah 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 went upstairs so this is a f- get far away from him that's the first thing to do anyway there's a guy sitting like on the balcony right in front of me and then there's me then there's some other people eventually in between songs this guy in front of me gets up to go to the loo kicks over a bottle of Budweiser it goes off the balcony hits someone in the head and the bottle breaks there's a massive scream. Robin Hitchcock l- looked right up, <laughs> makes eye contact with me. And I'm, no, no, it wasn't me. And you could just see the fury in his face. Anyway, <laughs> but there were so many times after that, no matter when I saw him, it was just a, a, an absolute disaster. My favourite being in San Francisco. Uh, I knew oh, that, dear I God. Knew, I know, International. I know. I knew, <laughs> I knew that the soft boys were playing at this gig in um, San Francisco, and we were staying at this um, hotel called The Phoenix. Anyway, m- my wife and I are in the, in this. M- it's a motel, right? So you have to, so you know, go outside, and the breakfast is sort of like served outside in this little forecourt. We're in in our hotel room. She's going, yeah, you you, you obviously want to go to this part of the town just so that if we stay long enough, we can go and see the soft boys that night. And I'm like, no, I don't know what you mean, <laughs> darling. I have new intentions. Anyway, I was completely lying, but she went on and on and on about so much. I just lost her eye going. Okay, we won't go and see the fucking soft boys. I don't give a fuck about the soft boys. <laughs> fuck the soft boys. Just as I'm walking out, and there he is, <laughs> standing right in front. Oh, oh balls! Go right back in the room, close the door. We're staying here for half an hour. Oh, wasn't there something <laughs> acerbic as well that, you, that he actually he, he met someone who somehow somehow even knew your name? Oh, no, 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 no. He, no, he met Mookie. He met Mookie, my wife, and uh, and. Uh, she, she was like, oh, look, my husband's a really big fan of yours. Now, this shows you how, what a cult audience he has, I guess. Going, oh, really? What's your husband's name? Like, he's got a list of his fans. Yeah. He goes, oh, his name's Michael A. And he, he went, Michael A, Michael A. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know him. He ruined a gig of mine once at the Jazz Cafe. <laughs> oh. 